grandma's house. It's the most perfect grandma's house in the world. Okay, let's get started on our project. Hi, grandma. Previously on Sailing Nine Lives, we attached the Check dinghy to the bazooka cannons. Really old dinghy. We put a new propane tank in that fits in the rear lazarette. We did some dinghy rehab and some dinghy motor rehab. Worked pretty good. We also did some cosmetic head rehab. Yeah. Have an almost solution. Yeah. There's a lot of sewing projects on the boat, so I decided instead of doing nothing but YouTube tutorials, I was going to go to the expert. Yeah, these we can totally do whatever we want with these ones, yeah. so, you know, like for a sample. So we took the old curtains that were on the boat as sort of a template, and Grandma taught me how to recreate them and do double hems and how to make sure the sizing was all right. Make sure that I have enough. Seems to be. You can stretch it like that. See, there's a little and hole. then she showed me how to bench. assemble the machine and thread the machine. And then push this up. And this has to be loose. So as much as they can because there's a lot of sewing to do. Would you like to get your own machine? Yeah, I would. Are you learning from the expert? I'm not an expert, but I've sewn a few things in my time. Grandmas are always experts. Now this one, I don't have enough vision, so what I do is I put this through. Yeah, I don't even see that. Bring the thread yeah, to the back. Now, this is a little tricky. This has to go in, and see this little notch? Mm -hmm. Then it has to go like that, and I slip it in here. It has to snap in there, and this has to be like that. Well, then we actually we take this thread, hold the thread, and go to see, see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to pull it up. Oh, it did. Even though the machine I knew I was going to get was different, it was very awesome having Step grandma knowledge hand. built in. Okay, everything's fine. Make sure that's raised when you start, mm -hmm. and on the number three, at least for this one. Now we will go and see. Fast forward a few months, and I got myself my own machine, and decided to do my own projects. Grandma actually ended up sewing quite a bit for us in her spare time, but there were still a couple left to be done, so we got ourselves a heavy-duty singer, and I went to sewing. So I'm trying to do everything with just one stitch, so I have to do an inside hem, so I measured out one inch hem, which gives me a half inch um, inside hem. Okay. And then I'm doing a one and a half inch I don't know, major hem, I don't know what you call it. Mega hem. Big hem. So you measure out the three inches from the inside hem, which will give me one and a half. Mm -hmm. This might all be wrong. <laughs> And then I'm pinning the inside hem down, so when I sew it, I'll sew th three layers, basically. Sewing with the experts. Okay. Let's see what you got, lady. You know what I think? I think you're ready to sew our sails. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Well, I'm not done with the living room yet. Put in a bamboo border. I didn't yet put down the natural stone tiles. That's not important today. I'm using this space as a sail loft. Sort of. What do you think, pirate? our main sail. It's a replacement of the original. This one by Precision Sails, purveyor of fine sail products to all of the major YouTube channels. In our case, previous owners of our boat paid for this one. 
What I'm really doing is I'm inspecting the entire sail and looking for areas that might need some restitching or repairs, and then we can address those. So like, eh, maybe right here, we've got a little something growing on here. Probably just needs to be cleaned up. And then I know, skipping ahead, got a hole here. Mystery hole. I'm not sure what caused that, but definitely gonna have to patch that. And so just looking over the entire sail. Take an inventory of what needs to be done. And I ordered this sticky Dacron sail tape. This is what I'm gonna use to repair that hole. To make this a semi-permanent repair, I'm using a Speedy Stitch hand sewing awl and I'm going to sew the perimeter of both sides of this repair tape. Speedy Stitch is a really nice tool because you can use it for especially thick things like webbing that you want to repair. Uh, and you can actually use it to make a nice lock stitch without using a sewing machine. Hi. What I'm doing here is I'm just doing a, a zigzag stitch through two pieces of webbing. And once you get it started, you kind of poke it through, pull it back about halfway, expose a bit of a loop. And you take your free end, pass it through the loop, and then you can pull the awl back out. And essentially, that allows you to create a little bit of a knot, very much like the way a sewing machine would work. And you get your lock stitch. And you proceed, the key is to not push the point of the needle through your finger. If you can manage to not do that, you'll do just fine. webbing forms a loop and I don't know the loop wasn't attached to itself it just had this weird thread that's kind of goes back and forth and around and the only thing holding on this slider really was this thread so I'm joining the loop so that it is one contiguous loop I think that's a better plan you're a ow see did I happen to get distracted? You see what happens? This is what happens. <laughs> mm. I am very funny. It's very funny. As long as I can keep the blood off the sail, I'm okay. Hold on, I need a napkin. <laughs> so funny when daddy hurts himself, right? So funny. <laughs> I know. Life is all about having fun. Trying not to bleed too much. Mm. Okay. 
sometimes I think you speak Wookiee. Jealous? I'm running with scissors. I'm running with scissors. You're not allowed to run with scissors, but I am, because I'm daddy. I'm daddy. Yeah, you should be concerned. That was not safe. Cut. Pull it all out. Put it in your cargo shorts pocket, right? Because that's why you have cargo shorts. Because you're cool. <laughs> laughing at daddy. These are pulled through. I have my original free end. I have my new free end that I just cut off. And all you do is finish it off with a knot. Square knot will do. Snip off the excess. And that's it. This is the end result, right? Uh, not perfect, but uh, Zigzag stitch, came back, zigzag right on back. That's it. Yeah, that's a little more secure. <laughs> Got all your measurements? Yeah, I took pictures of everything. Measured it out with a picture of what I was measuring. Okay. Mama, I don't like the boat. Well, sorry. I'm gonna have to learn to deal with it. So I picked a gray for the main space. cabin, which I actually really regret because mm. I totally forgot that we have gray walls. <laughs> so we want to do something different for the head and the forward cabin. So I went on just a fabric website and got this discounted blue fabric, which uh, is what I'm doing now. I'm working so on curtains. Got, like, janky. Janky? Mama, you could get really janky just like it bunched you know so oh it's not like super God. tight well it is gonna bunch up when you mount it well, so it's probably it. okay if it's a little janky. It's a little janky this room is so funny looking <sighs> all right babe yeah. i'm gonna go back to work yeah me too i need some water i'm tired well i'm down at the boat taking care of a couple other things virginia wanted me to hang these curtains in the main cabin just to see how they look and uh i think they look pretty fresh i dig them Ooh. that looks pretty good that one's not done yet Get it out. Oh, you can see that what it used to be that used looks be pretty good ugly. Ooh, that's ugly all right this is what it used to be that's what it currently is. That was everywhere, the whole boat. Ugh. And to match the new curtains, we reupholstered the old headboard. <laughs> I didn't like that. Nice. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Corners look tight. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. New headboard in three, two, one. Wow. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. I like it. Good job. I think that looks pretty good. Clashes with this comforter, but uh, that's not my department. And here in the head, that's the last of the curtains. The large spool of V92 thread needs to be unraveled from the top. Which requires a special here. accessory for this particular machine. I have it set up to thread the bobbin. But we found a hack. Mm -hmm. I like your spool stand. Ooh. Whoa. Hyper speed. Is 
So you're loading this thing up with V92 UV damage inhibited thread. Uh, it's supposed to be UV stable. Now, let's try to use the handy dandy. And did you already put your number 18 needle in there? I did, yeah. Nice. Little threader thing. And look at you! You're like a professional or something. I know this is our makeshift sail loft, but we also do repairs on sail bags. This thing's coming apart at the seams, literally. So could use a couple passes through the old singer, get everything back in tip top shape. Zigzagging. That's a great oh, zigzag. I like it. That's fancy. <laughs> yes. That one was better though. That's zigging and zagging, baby. Just to do it professionally. Bobby, I am nothing but professional. Yeah, I know. Look at us in our professional sail loft, aka unfinished living room. Look at us with our our spool. What is it? Spool hanger? I don't know. Yeah. It also vacuums. <laughs> that one was so awesome. That's what it was. Good. I gotta say, for somebody who's only ever sewed a curtain, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> Well, I can just reinforce it anyway. Yeah, you want to take a run down the whole zipper. Yeah, good. Pretty close to the edge there, lady. Mm. Like I said, we are not rebuilding this thing, we're just repairing it, so. Yeah. If you can't get at it without actually disassembling it, right. don't bother. Mm, All right. It's pretty good though. It is good. Zipper is attached. Whereas before, it wasn't. Look at you all domesticated. Oh, so Timing got all jacked up. So now we are disassembling the machine. The Singer and guidelines look. say that when this happens, yes. you should take it to a professional yeah, repair really shop. Early. Timing's yeah. really screwy. Well, yeah, it's so easy. You just sew it at home. But so we consider ourselves easy. professionals. I just don't know how that could have possibly slipped a few teeth. I, it did. It slipped a whole bunch of teeth. see if we got the timing right. So we decided through the beauty of YouTube tutorials to do it ourselves. Well, see, it doesn't scrape anymore. That's a good sign. I get this all the way up. So the idea here is if, as you spin that, it creates a loop and the hook catches the loop, then we've probably got it right. Yep, there we go. It. Look at that. Yep. We're awesome. All right, let's put this thing back together. Cool beans, man. Hi, Swingy. What are you doing? So I'm here today to just provision the boat, unload everything, and really put everything away because last trip, our shakedown cruise, we... um figured out a few of our weak spots and definitely getting the boat prepped for living conditions was a big deal. So that's what I'm doing today, giving ourselves a couple days ahead of time to really get her ready. And um, luckily it's a beautiful day today, so I don't have to worry about doing all of this in the rain or the cold, but yeah, so that's what it is. <laughs> the Next up on Sailing Nine Lives, we finally, finally set off to the Bahamas. You know, the next few videos is gonna be about this great trip we took as a family and the ups and downs, highs and lows. And I think in this first episode, nothing even breaks. Probably the only episode. <laughs> it's probably. Stay tuned for <laughs> disaster after disaster on this old rinky dink sailboat. <laughs> Two people who were like, oh yeah, new curtains. That's enough to get us to the Bahamas. <laughs> oh boy. Soft cockpit floor version two. It's like getting exact measurements on one spot of the circle and then I'm like 
drawing a circle, eyeballing it, and I'm slowly adjusting based on the curve of this circle. Yeah. You know, like, this looked like it was correct, but it actually goes, you know, it's like stupid. What well, I'm doing is stupid, but. And I'm making a template with this bogus piece that I messed up on. Oh. And I'm going to trace it on the actual piece. I have confidence in you. Yeah, well, this one turned out okay. It's like a little off. It's probably need to be trimmed here a bit. Yeah. I just don't want to trim it because I'm worried I'm going to trim it too much because the scissors are so thick. You're doing an excellent job. I'm doing a job. We all believe in you. I'm also going to do some cleaning and get her ready for her big voyage of uh, the Bahamas. It's been like such a whirlwind. So everything is expensive and everything takes a long time, but I think it's going to be super worth it. We're really excited. <laughs>